Okay, good afternoon. Thank you for coming to this afternoon seminar. It's my extremely pleasure to welcome well-renowned prime, primate biologist, uh, also my longtime friend. Um, professor Ji currently is the director and professor at the Key Lab for Primate Biomedical Research and also Institute of Translation Medicine of Kunming University of Science and Technology. The abbreviation only one letter different from the HKUST, the KUST, we HKUST, actually we're closely related. Um, and also from the twin experience from Professor D, I can say PhD degree is not essential for successful scientific research. And after he get his bachelor degree from Yunnan University and, and become assistant professor uh, in the Institute of Zoology in, China, uh, in the Kunming and uh, in the Chinese Academy of Sciences. And uh, he's one of the pioneers in the, in the use of primate, so reproductive biology in uh, recent years. And he moved to the, what I consider the most exciting area in human biology. You can call the black box human biology. It's from fertilized embryo to four weeks embryo. If I understand the human biology, I understand why this period is very critical because you cannot obtain a human sample to start this process. And Professor G pioneered culture, human, and monkey embryos into the four weeks. Basically solved a major problem in the human biology. He has been making many milestone contribution to primary biology. You can say to human biology. He's the first one, general knockout monkey in the world. He was, he was the one who actually uh, produced few human disease monkey model in the world. He also the first one in the world to culture monkey embryos to the, to really the latest, you know, to the almost four weeks. And later on, he also successfully culture human embryo into four weeks. And amazingly, he also can use this, the visual culture system to study chimera between human primate stem cells. So because of this really many, this kind of pioneer research findings, he has been recognized by you know, many, many different worlds he been elected to the member of the National Academy of Science, or Chinese Academy of Science, of Chinese Academy of Sciences, also the member of the uh, European Academy, and he also received many other distinguished awards, including and we're not going to do the, do the long list. He had been the world the recently Tanjia Jin Love Achievement Award. Hu Liang Hu Li Foundation, Latin Chimin World, and uh, also nation, many other national worlds. And today, it's really a fortune to have the Professor Ji here. He can do next, going to share about about his research, non-human primates, and their implication in human health. Welcome, Professor Ji. Thank you very much for Professor Xi uh, give a kind of introduction about me. And uh, this time is my honor here to show my work, my team work with, uh, with you, I hope. Just like uh, uh, Professor Xi said, we just uh, one word different from 
all unit between uh, Kunming and here. Uh, I, uh, today I talk about uh, the title is Non Human Premise and Human Health. Why this uh, talk? Uh, I, have, I have studied Non Human Premise for 40 years. And uh, according to my experience, I think the non human privacy uh, could have great contribution for human health. So, if you say our logo, you can see our logo is uh, come by the monkey with the human uh, here. Uh, so, uh, I, I, I think uh, uh, I maybe. I hope my talk is uh, also attractive you to uh, study non-human primates in the future. <clears throat> Here is this cotton uh, picture. You can see uh, all life start from fertilization. After fertilization, we from baby to old. In that time, we uh, all lifetime we met some problem for health and uh, for disease uh, interaction. So I believe that <coughs> birth, health, and uh, illness and uh, longevity are most important and the fundamental issues in human life. And uh, <coughs> Uh, unfortunately, we cannot study the human life uh, in the human beings. We have to uh, use uh, laboratory animals. The laboratory animals are at least here. For example, the, the Professor Xi is famous for study fly. And um, I think that the laboratory animals promote the development and the progress for life science. Uh, especially for the another species uh, we call rudent. The rudent is, uh, have a great contribution for modern biology. Uh, unfortunately, uh, some limits for laboratory to study human beings' life because uh, human complex uh, diseases are mostly the <coughs> result by the uh, polygenetic uh, variation. And differentiation gen genetic background limits the animal study of a complex disease. Due to ethical uh, tra transitions, uh, no research can be conducted in human, human beings. The highly similar genetic background of non human primates and the human is an uh, ideal model for the study. Uh, you know, phenogenesis and uh, complex disease for human. So that's a, a non-human primates. Why is monkey? Why is non-human primates? Primates are highly similar to human humans. It is ideal mo animal model for drug target research and drug development because the evolution results. You know, for the mm, the uh, human being with non-human primates separate. Uh, about uh, 27 million years ago. But the rudent is uh, separated with human about uh, 80 million years ago. So that's the resource of the, um, uh, like the human, the genetic, uh, um, genomic the similarities between non-human primates and the humans very closely. For example, the human with the chimpanzee, almost 99% uh, genomic uh, similarity. And the human with uh, monkeys, about 95% similarity. And also, a lot of study uh, depend on the rodents and uh, other laboratory animals. We found the um, correlation between um, glucose metabolism and um, uh, mortality in mass is not exactly the same that in the non-human primates and the human beings. So uh, this is why we use uh, the non-human primates. We call this a field called a primate uh, by medicine. This is from a bench to bedside. We 
if we met some problem, some questions, scientific question or disease questions, we can test firstly in non-human primates. And then we study some antigeny and the development of life and the health and the disease. So uh, uh, around this uh, uh, primate biomedicine, I a little bit introduced my um, uh, uh, institutes. Uh, my institute's research direction, the contents is uh, usually have uh, three directions. One is called primate reproduction and development. Another one is uh, primate stem cells and uh, organ regeneration. And the primates models and the biological therapeutic for uh, disease. And uh, of course, we have um, uh, different uh, uh, study contents. And then we also have platform, especially this uh, lunch time when I talk with uh, students here for bioinformatics. Uh, they very important for the biology uh, study uh, uh, here. We all, in my institute, we also have uh, the platform for bioinformatics. So, of course, we have another the, um, uh, platform, especially we have the uh, monkeys colony. We, so far, we have uh, more 1,600 monkeys in my institute. And uh, uh, now the monkeys uh, price are very high. And uh, in China, about uh, uh, 20,000 US dollars for per monkeys. In US, as uh, one monkey, about uh, uh, 60,000 uh, US dollars per monkeys. So the monkey uh, is a very high price you know, uh, because uh, COVID-19 is uh, a lot of people group you want to make a vaccine. Uh, if you, you, you want to make a vaccine, one experiment uh, usually you used to have uh, to use about uh, 60 monkeys each time. So, so for the, in the world, the whole world, especially US and China, uh, spend a lot of monkeys to make the vaccine. So this is why this monkey is a very, is a call very few the resource in the world. <clears throat> so, uh, I just want to talk with you about the four issues very important. The first is for birth. Birth is most important and yet very unclear questions of life. Here in the left of the picture, uh, we, uh, we call the uh, Carnegie the stages is uh, uh, depend on the Institute, Carnegie Institute in the US. They use the uh, Mm, uh, anatomy, the uh, um, uh, separation is about uh, uh, different uh, stages for human uh, development the timeline. And uh, the, the, for this timeline, uh, one, uh, one time is about uh, after fertilization to implantation, about four weeks, very important for life. This is, this is a stage called gastrulation. The gastrulation actually is a, a body plan. They have three primary gymnasts are established and the basic body plan is established and the pathway for uh, inductive with the interaction and the hallmark of a new relation and the organogenesis. And in this week, uh, this month, these four weeks, Actually, especially, you uh, all, all, already have 30, 60% of the embryos lost in the pregnant in the first months. Uh, the, the reason is not so clear yet. And the people call this, play, this, uh, this is the stage is like a black box. So um, why this is a uh, black box? Because uh, uh, you know, and uh, when the embryo implantation to uterus, uh, the sample is very small. Even for the for the very very good 
uh, image microscope, you only for the very, very small uh, uh, point and the uterus. So you cannot uh, use as samples for this study. So one scientist, uh, Louis Wilpert in uh, England, he, she said, no birth, marriages or death, but uh, gastrulation, which is uh, truly the most important thing for your life, in your life. <clears throat> so the scientists in the world is uh, hopefully can, can uh, use, the, can uh, develop in the uh, system, in the in virtual to study uh, these uh, uh, stages. Because you, the, mon, the mouse, uh, in that time, the structure and the development are very different from uh, primates, especially uh, from the hu human. They include the implantation and the trough process development, uh, the amine egg cavity formation, and the egg sac formation, and, uh, and so on. So in yes, uh, 2016, the two groups in the world, the development of the, the uh, in vitro um, system culture the human embryos until to uh, uh, 13 days. Uh, uh, this is uh, also mass work. It uh, means uh, we can use this uh, in vitro methods to study human embryos. Unfortunately, uh, the, the system is a 2, 2D culture system. The 2D culture system has some uh, shortcomings. The first is the culture embryos is largely flatted and the two uh, dimensional and uh, so not, uh, uh, clear in, in perfect um, uh, models uh, of uh, normal 3D embryo development. The second is a unique identifier set type, uh, uh, and the structures in culture is uh, uh, challenging. And uh, the, the topological the relationship between different set types in two this is very different in, in vivo. So, uh, uh, Extension the, the this culture the beyond the uh, twelve days the light uh, cavity collapse so we cannot use a two D system to study human beings so um, this is a scientist from uh, U C uh, Davis uh, a famous uh, uh, development biologist she give this points for this 2D system. So in my lab, in that time, we developed the 3D culture system for human beings. Uh, because this uh, paper already published, and uh, I do not want to uh, show you detail uh, today, but uh, in summary, this 3D embryo, uh, embryos mimic in vivo development landmarks and the 3D uh, architectures, including uh, embryonic desk, amnes, amni, uh, epilim, uh, ep, uh, and the epiblast separation, and so on. So this, uh, in this uh, picture, you can see the, uh, the red structure is uh, didn't find in the uh, 2D culture system. Uh, but this uh, is a very mimic uh, in vivo uh, embryo development like a, a human beings. So this work is uh, uh, depend on my PhD student, uh, Dr. Tianjin Li. He also get a very good training, post uh, training, postdoc training in uh, Professor uh, Xi's lab for five years. He, after five years of training, he back to my lab again, and uh, so he uh, de developed as a system. Because there's a 
2016 years, the two papers published, I have a lab meeting with my colleagues. I, say, I, I told them, we need to develop the uh, 3D system for human beings. And also we hope, uh, because uh, some ASIC limited, we cannot do uh, much study after 14 days for human embryos. We, we, I point another group uh, to develop the monkey uh, embryo development the culture system, hopefully after 14 days. So uh, why uh, we cannot uh, uh, to do some uh, work for after 14 days? Because in 1978, the first the baby from in virtual fertilization uh, bond in Australia. In that time, we need to make a reflect between science and uh, religion peoples. The people say that the God make human beings. So why you can use make the human beings in virtual? So, so in that time, the British the government the, uh, organized the committee. Uh, that's a, that's a, mm, called the Warnock Report. Actually, it's called a report of the Committee of uh, Inquiry into Human Fertilization uh, and the Embryology. So in, in this uh, the report, uh, uh, after this report, in the world have uh, 12 countries there's a dark blue in this map is a uh, have a law that uh, restrict the in virtual research human members to within the first 14 days. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, five other countries, uh, Peru, the Nationality Commission, scientific regardless, especially uh, specialty in 14 days rule. So this 14 days rule is popular in the world. Most countries, including China, is also following this uh, road. So we cannot culture the human embryos after 14 days. So uh, this is an announcement for, uh, so for this rule is, uh, is uh, the International Society of Stem Cell Research for global uh, rule. Uh, you see, uh, <clears throat> 30 years ago, uh, that's the rule. So 14 days is a legally and the regularity limited in vitro human embryos to study. So uh, in that time, I told my uh, students and our group develop the monkey embryo after 14 days. So they, they successfully, they, they, they did the monkey's the embryo culture in 20 days. This work is also by my former students, the, uh, Dr. Tao Tang and uh, Dr. Yu Niu. It's interesting that uh, Tianjin Li has a training in Albert in the, she, uh, she's lab. Uh, uh, but uh, both them, this, uh, the two students, uh, they have no chance to go operate. The, the work in my lab is uh, from master degree to now. So now the professor, the, the Dr. Liu is now is a, a West president for Kunming University of Science and Technology. Is a, I'm very happy about the groups. <clears throat> well, we also uh, compile the uh, human being and the uh, monkeys' uh, uh, embryo development in early uh, stages. It, uh, it, it looks like uh, the human and the monkey's embryo is a highly similar, such as uh, you can see, I just show here about the uh, embryonic the desk is very, very similar time, about uh, 14 days. And uh, well, there are also expression uh, uh, same some genes uh, uh, in the uh, human monkeys uh, for the uh, uh, amniotic cells, such as OCT4, but also have some difference, such as the CD, 
X2 is uh, specially expressed in monkeys, but uh, not in humans. So monkeys' work is not, cannot be totally in state of human beings. So we need uh, still, hopefully in the future, can use for uh, human laborers uh, to study gastrulation. And uh, also, the, uh, we continue. We do not understand after 20 days what's happening in the gastrulation because gastrulation is finished the, uh, after the uh, 25 or 28 days. So uh, now we understand that before uh, the, the day 17, we, we got uh, the specification amni and the yak sac and the formation of the bilimer uh, embryonic desk and so on. But we do not know about the late stages of the gastrulation in, in, uh, and the early uh, organogenesis. So in trait cell biology in years 20, uh, 2022, uh, they have uh, the, 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 the review paper. So uh, they say that uh, can we catch a monkey embryos to early organogenesis stages? So that's a question, but we did. So we, we, we tried to establish the development of the uh, optimization of a uh, culture system. Firstly, we test on the mouse because the monkey is too expensive. Even we can, uh, we have a large economy for monkeys. But the monkey is very similar to human beings. Each time they, they have a, a menstrual cycle, and each time they just ovulate one uh, egg. Is a, so we have to use super ovulation. It's too expensive. So first we develop a 3D culture system on um, mouse. So we, firstly, we, we uh, 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 add some glucose in the culture medium. You, you can find, uh, you can, we, we, we can go to the percentage about the mouse embryo development very high. If not uh, uh, glucose, only about 48% uh, uh, can reach to the uh, process. But after you add the glucose, can add to 54 but it is not perfect. So we, we use glucose plus 4% metric gels. And in this time, we can go to almost 70% embryos reach to the processes. Still not, a, not a perfect. So we use two, two uh, uh, levels, the metric gels in the culture system. One is a, 4% measure gels plus 10% gel tracks. So we can go to about almost 80% uh, uh, embryos reach to processes. So, so we use this system. We, system we test our monkey embryos. It's got a good uh, results. In the up is uh, we did in the edit the. Uh, glucose, uh, the uh, low down is uh, have the glucose. And then we establish the, this system. This system we call sandwich system. We have uh, the, 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 the low bottom we have uh, undiluted uh, metric gels. In the middle, we have a 10% uh, gel tracks uh, and then up top, we have a four percent of the metric gels. So that's the way we establish a three D culture system of monkeys. So for this, we got a very nice uh, uh, pictures and uh, results here. So you can see, we, you can find the embryo, embryo near the desk. You can from an uh, embryo nine days to the twenty five days is uh, the the move. And uh, the, you, you can find that the, is a, uh, the embryos can cut it until 25 days. 
In, in this uh, procedures, we can got a very good uh, 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 structure, like in vivo, uh, such as embryonic desk, yak sac cavity, embryonic cavity, uh, and also find how this uh, um, um, embryonic desk how the move to make this. We, uh, the bottom is uh, uh, the, 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 the cotton to uh, uh, um, description about uh, this structure uh, changes. So uh, the embryos were imaged with two photo uh, microscopes. So uh, uh, this is almost uh, uh, reached to uh, Carnegie stage at the C is a, means the Carnegie stage 12. So uh, uh, we use single cell uh, transcrotum. Uh, we call this culture system the enhanced mon monkey, the embryo development uh, culture system. We found the 25 major cell types is in that in that phase. In the include the neural plate, blood, and the primitive gut cells. The most cell from culture monkeys embryos overlapped with cell from uh, in vivo carnage uh, eight to eleven uh, stages. Uh, Lotus able uh, intermediate and the method summate and them and the neural lineages were immature imag in these stages. So that means that they do not have uh, uh, completely the neural system. Uh, So uh, we also found the early neuro uh, ectotum development. At uh, uh, 23 days, we observed OCT4 negative SOX2 positive cells flanked by uh, OCT4 and SOX2 double uh, positive cells. Also, uh, SOX3 and SOX2 is double positive, and SOX2 and uh, uh, nesting double positive cells were detected at uh, uh, 25 days embryos. In addition, the expression of this uh, blade coat, uh, uh, such as a DAC 6, 5, 6, 2, and uh, uh, TFP 2A, and the neural crust and uh, uh, marks were further uh, validated by. I have staining at uh, 23 to 25 days. And uh, we also uh, uh, studied uh, uh, the neural uh, lineage cells, uh, especially adjacent to their communication, uh, such as uh, uh, extension communication between neural rest progenitors and the plate coded progenitors. And the cell cell interaction related to BMP the signal were not detected in your plate progenitors. And uh, we also found in the uh, yak sac the uh, hematopoiesis in culture monkeys. Uh, before the, this study, we only know the rudent, the uh, um, Hematopoiesis, but we do not know primates, including human beings. Here we can we find the two wives in the uh, hematopoiesis in the uh, monkey embryos. We we named as the HPC one and HPC two. You can find that in the uh, eighteen days, uh, in ninety days, you can find H, HPC one is uh, expressed. But in the second, about 25 days, in the HPC2 is uh, 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 can observed. That's the first time we identify the primates, the uh, 
policies. And the use this data we compare with the uh, mouse. Yeah, the monkeys uh, have some similar uh, uh, conserved gene expressed patterns uh, with monkey, uh, monkey and the mouse, but also have some difference. The difference uh, 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 just like the, uh, the FGF3, the expression level was initially upregulated and then do, do down regulated in mass, but uh, in the monkeys, is uh, not found this uh, situation. So we also find the primitive gut development in this culture 25 days, uh, monkeys embryos is, uh, is a interesting uh, things. Uh, uh, most of the, 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 the work is, uh, is said that the, the, uh, this is an uh, interterm inter uh, germline development of the primitive gut. But for our work, we also find the uh, mesoderm, uh, such as uh, DE, the, the incentive endoderm also involved in the, the primitive gut development. So we also uh, found a very important uh, uh, evidence such uh, as a primordial germline cell-like cell migration. And this migration uh, from seven days embryos uh, uh, move uh, on the 19 days, move to uh, yak sac. And uh, the male and the female, the PGLC shell cellular transcription profiles. And the cellular, the heterogeneity during early gymnase development in monkeys. And then we also looking for the uh, trajectories of the, the uh, pro -pro PGC RCS. You can see that they can move from from the yak sac and then uh, into uh, the from outside the yak sac to into the uh, yak sac. So is uh, the trajectory is. Uh, is also firstly found in the primates. Uh, we do not know exactly human being, how about the human being, but it is a uh, very useful reference to human beings. And also we um, looking for chromosome uh, dosage precision. The total X chromosome gene expression per cells in male and female, embryonic and uh, uh, extra embryonic lineage. And the chromosome gene expression in female cells decreased uh, uh, from perimplantation to gastrulation. And that remains stable during early uh, org organogenesis stages. The data similarly favor to chromosome interaction model over the X chromosome uh, dampening. Along with uh, XCI, uh, this means chromosome inactive, uh, the expression, the X inactive specific transcription was consistent in famous cells. Notably, the expression, the X inactive specific transcription in male cells around the gastrulation is also the first found in primates. And uh, if we would uh, take a little summary, is uh, so uh, the development of the uh, embedded 3D culture system that allows to extend the ex utus food culture for cinema monkeys embryo uh, up to 25 days. And the morphology, histology, and the single cell RNA sequencing analysis 
demonstrate that the exutus culture monkey embryos largely recapture the key elements in viral development. With this platform, we were able to uh, denied den lineage, trajectory, and the genetic uh, program involved in neural uh, induction and the laterally plate uh, midterm differentiation, the yak sac hematologies, primate gut, and the pri primordial germline cell like cells development in monkeys. Is a, I think is a good reference for human beings. So this work also uh, this uh, 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 my former students the, now they are professor uh, Tao Tang and the U U News uh, team that did this work. And uh, um, after this, we also think about uh, uh, the in the peri uh, implantation, such as from embryo six day to eight days. How about uh, the embryonic and the extra embryonic lineage cross talk? You know, is the embryogenesis is a uh, accompanied by established maintain the loose uh, pneumopotation and the transit uh, property enable embryonic uh, epiplastic cell to generate all cells in the adult organism. The pneumopotent embryo cells can be maintained in vivo uh, in a spectrum in the pneumopotent uh, stem cells uh, state by the adding culture condition. A notable difference in uh, absence in the interaction between extra embryonic cells and the culture in PSC that is the potentially limited in the uncentralized in the disorganized differentiation and the unfiltrated growth. How the extreme embryonic tissues in the communication with the prior gastrulation epiplast remains the Elusive. So, uh, uh, if we can development the uh, 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 culture system, this culture uh, condition that can derive the early post implantation and the uh, prior gastrulation stem cells from embryonic and the extra embryonic tissues under the same condition is very important. So the um, first day is the, the, the professor, uh, professor Jing Wu's lab. He is in the Southwest uh, University in the U.S. He developed the, the culture system. You, the, uh, he opened the activation. He, he discussed with the Dr. Tao Tang is the uh, uh, development of the. Uh, depend on the activation FGF and the TGF uh, B and the winter pathway uh, 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 establish the embryonic stem cells and the extra embryonic uh, endotherm stem cells and the trophoblastic stem cells derived in, uh, from mouse uh, plasis. So that's got the one the same conditions can develop different stem cells. So uh, in that time, you see system to study the cross lineage uh, uh, among these uh, stem cells, Kokachi. In this uh, uh, FTW conditions, uh, stable uh, the um, mouse, uh, Extra, you get the uh, stem cells and the most trophoblastic uh, uh, stem cells and the most embryonic stem cell can can be uh, de delivered, delivered from the single mouse embryos. 
the embryonic and the extraembryonic stem cells coccygeus and uh, identify the contact the dependent groups, the restriction uh, um, uh, ES cells by the uh, mouse ex ex embryo uh, interdermal, which may reflect uh, uh, epiplasic size controlled mechanism by surrounding by, by uh, visceral endotherms during most early post implantation development. <clears throat> so this, uh, this also show you about uh, the the uh, ex interdermal uh, uh, embryonic interdermal mouse inhabited. Uh, Embryo um, stem cells, proliferation in culture uh, in vivo. And uh, <clears throat> so, uh, 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 from this study, uh, with uh, Pearson uh, correlation analysis for revealed. Uh, revealed the transcription similarity between cocaccia and the uh, spirulative culture cells and the, and the cell chart 38 to kit uh, to infer cell cell communication and uh, cross talk among cocaccia, embryonic and uh, extra embryonic stem cells and uh, the identifier the ECM signaling as one of mechanism mediate the reduced proliferation of the mouse embryo stem cells uh, by the ex, uh, ex, extra uh, anti interdom. So, this is the mouse system. How about in the monkeys? We also developed the similar system. In monkeys, we also got the three different uh, uh, stem cells from a uh, single the, uh, embryos from monkeys. So you use this system, we also found that there's a, how about the, the, uh, the uh, extra uh, embryonic endotherms are safely renewed. There's uh, some genes such as uh, HMGI1, cell one and the NEFI1 is play important role in this uh, safe renew. And the ECM also mediate inhibitor infected in monkeys uh, uh, extra embryonic uh, endothermal uh, in the uh, monkeys uh, embryo uh, stem cells. Uh, that's two, two maps, is, uh, two pictures, is, uh, uh, analysis, is, uh, 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 product, uh, uh, namely, and uh, in collagen secreted from acting and inhabited uh, embryo stem cells pro life. And then the co culture. Uh, Embryo stem cells with uh, namely and uh, Kagan is uh, confirmed that the inhibitor effect uh, from uh, extra cellular mat matrix. So we also try to establish a human uh, uh, extra the, uh, embryonic the, uh, stem cells, uh, endotherm uh, stem cells. But, uh, 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 we, we, we did, uh, is, uh, we also found some uh, genes, is, uh, expression is, uh, uh, regulated this uh, stem cells. And uh, <clears throat> we compare the mouse, uh, human, and uh, monkeys. The uh, more 27 genes, uh, genes uh, were commonly shared among mouse, monkey, and humans. And the half genes network analysis predicted several core the uh, FTW um, extra embryonic uh, endothermal regulate, such as PDGFA, 
uh, SOC and the JAK2. And also we uh, knock down these genes. You can find this uh, find the monkeys and the uh, mouse uh, um, uh, extra uh, uh, embryonic uh, endotherm is uh, uh, re renewed. So for, for this study has some limitation. The limitation is uh, uh, cross lineage stem cells cocoaches is uh, sustainable only for few, few passengers before uh, rapidly uh, life, uh, life rating cells uh, dominate. The human, the uh, uh, travel process stem cells cannot be derived from naive year, yes, uh, embryonic stem cells. The human extra embryonic endotherm de derived from naive uh, embryonic stem cells are difficult to maintain beyond the 10 to 15 passages. In comparison, the, uh, <clears throat> the FTW is a, a human extra inter External endoderm is a, a sourced from a human uh, uh, embryo, embryonic stem cells are sustainable long term. And uh, this a human, the trophy plus uh, stem cells cannot be obtained and directly from the human blastists. However, take a summary is this. Uh, this system is a can good uh, system can study the um, peri uh, embryo development uh, uh, around the six day to implantation uterus to eight days. This is, uh, this is a, I think is also good information for future uh, study for uh, human beings. Is, uh, this work is uh, dependent on the, uh, Dr. Jing Wu and the Dr. Tao Tan teams. So based on the above work, I, um, I, we suggesting uh, relaxing the 14 days ESOCO uh, code. In years 2021, the International Stem Cells Society uh, they changed uh, some uh, re regulation. They, uh, they said the giving advancement in human embryo cultures and the potential of such research to yet benefit knowledge that promote human health and well-being. The ISCR call for national academics and of science, uh, academic society, funders and the regulators to lead, to lead the public uh, conversations to touch on the scientific significance as well as the society to, and the uh, ethical issues raised by a low such research. Uh, so according our work, we suggest uh, but uh, this uh, year to 2021, the regula regulation they didn't say how long the uh, uh, individual human beings embryo can culture, can be culture. So according to our research work, we hopefully can be to uh, uh, extension to 25 to 28 days in that time. Of, in that time, the gastrointestinal almost uh, completely. Uh, that's good for human beings. So the second uh, um, uh, issue I, I try to talk about the uh, uh, generation idea animal models for import uh, for complex human beings the disease such as the Parkinson disease and uh, uh, RS. Uh, you know this. Uh, very complex uh, disease. So far, no any 
uh, effective treatment. So, made the animal models have the very different ways, but the you know uh, the most of the uh, disease is uh, because uh, due to by the gene mutation. So, use uh, uh, transgenic or the gene editing to make uh, the uh, animal models for human disease is the most effective methods. So in years 2013, the, because the cost, um, crisp cost, the techniques is a development, is very useful for human beings. So in the world, the people hope uh, this methods can be done in the monkeys. If you can done for monkeys, that means in these techniques, in the future, can use for treatment for human beings. If not, you, you, you cannot do not so safety or efficiency. Thing. Because I uh, have a lot of uh, history um, show us that some techniques is, uh, can be successful in the uh, mouse, but difficult in the uh, um, monkeys. For example, for the traditional gene transfer, uh, transgenic work, is the uh, first uh, the success for the transgenic mouse is uh, published in 1974. But uh, the first monkeys the transgenic work is published in years uh, 2001. So among half 27 years, uh, uh, the gap. So, unfortunately, in years uh, 2014, we firstly published and used the CRISPR Cas9 and also Thailand's techniques to uh, make a monkey's model here. And uh, this is uh, uh, my former student, uh, uh, Professor Liu and Yung uh, Chan Chen. Did this work. So, uh, this work is very important. So, the, the International Society gave a lot of recognition. And uh, here I just give some example of how about the non human premise model is important to, uh, for human disease. One of uh, this work is we, we call the, the, the rate syndrome. Uh, this syndrome is an uh, X chromosome is a lock one genes called MCP2. If the, uh, the MCP2 is the, uh, the lock in the uh, chromosome that makes the, the girls have this uh, disease, but the, the, the male, the boys, always abortion during the pregnancy. Pregnant because that's gene in X chromosome. This is a serious problem. This, uh, 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 the ghost cannot uh, 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 live uh, after 40, 40 years. So we, we, we generated this uh, monkey model uh, for uh, this work. And uh, we just show you and uh, the phenotype uh, among the human rodent and the monkeys. You can say human and the monkeys have a very similar phenotype, but not in the rodents. So that is why the primate uh, models is important to, to human beings. And another work I try to um, uh, introduce uh, to you. That's, uh, uh, this work uh, called uh, uh, Hutchinson's Jerford Progero syndrome, uh, HGPS. This is a real sporadic uh, uh, autosomal uh, dominate the accelerated aging disorder. The, uh, uh, the, this disease uh, already found in 50 countries in the 
word. And uh, uh, have, they got uh, about uh, more hundred families have this thesis. This thesis is a cost per point uh, mutation of uh, nimna genes at uh, the low uh, uh, 1000 at 24 uh, uh, C base. And then in cost uh, nuclear memory proteins uh, naming A or C, which leading to progerin expression uh, this uh, permanently uh, finessed from naming A. So far, to treat this uh, disease, this uh, US FDA, US FDA is a uh, um, uh, approved uh, the, the, the drugs called the, the KV. This, uh, this drug is uh, treated for cancers, but uh, treated as a uh, disease can, can prolong the two and a half years for life. Usually this, the, this disease, uh, the, uh, the, the patient is uh, died about uh, 14 years. But the use this drug uh, treatment, uh, the, the, the patients can be have two and a half years alive. But no, so this drug is not uh, so efficient. And also, the people have established the pig and the mouse models for this disease. But the phenotype, just as I said, the, for the red syndrome, the phenotype is very, very different. So, Hope, hope to get the non-human primates uh, uh, model for this thesis. So we use the uh, uh, cytoside bias editing to make the monkey model. So firstly, we, we use get the RNA for the uh, make this in the, and the knockout uh, with uh, B, BE4 together, the knockout uh, in the one side, the embryos, uh, this genes, they, we can call the uh, monkey, the board. And uh, we found the, 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 the board monkey, the skin had already become, uh, have the progerin uh, proteins expression. And also, this monkey is a uh, gross re retardation, and the boss bone is a uh, abnormality and uh, higher lost. And uh, also, we found the globe as uh, surfaces and uh, vascular complications. This uh, phenotype is uh, exactly like a human beings. I also here show you some, I don't know that can work. This two monkeys is the uh, uh, same ages, just uh, both uh, for one month. This uh, big one is a uh, is a white type, not a gene knockout. And the small one is a gene knockout. So you can find that this move, movement is uh, very different from uh, the white type. And also, this monkey uh, died after six months. <laughs> They have a lot of mutation in the muscle, in the heart, so they died quickly. <clears throat> so use this uh, uh, model. We also uh, found the early anti-inflammatory the treatment that may be have to uh, make it some of the same time for HGPS patient because uh, our findings uh, relieved that uh, the uh, upregulated genes, secondly, enriched uh, biological uh, pathway related to, to the cytokines and the uh, cytokine receptors uh, interaction and the regulation in inflammation response. This is resource and uh, uh, score uh, systematic inflammation as uh, early and uh, the uh, potential uh, critical response for progerin 
uh, communication during this limited study, the progressin. They also suggest that the early anti-inflammatory treatment may be helped to elevate the sum symptom for as GPS patients. So this is the parameter models is, is useful for human disease. So this is a summary uh, from this work. This is did by uh, Professor Yu Yu Niu. The third part, uh, today I talk about the stem cells and the gene editing to treat the complex disease. Before I talk this, I have the, for stem cells, the, uh, make the stem cells for, uh, keep the peripheral protein is very important. So I have to talk a little bit about the, got uh, some naive with the stem cells. You, you know, for this, Golden standard for test the uh, naive stem cells. I have uh, two methods. One is you make a camera. Another one, is, uh, you can find the Gemini transmissions. Uh, in the, the, this uh, table here, I just uh, say about in years 2012. In that time, the mouse and uh, the rodents have already uh, identify can go to cameras and uh, Gemini uh, transmissions. But in that time, the monkeys didn't go to this. And uh, in the US, have a group that published a paper in cells in years uh, 2012. They said the human and the monkeys uh, stem cells, embryo stem cells, cannot uh, make the cameras. So this means the, the primates the stem cells do not have a pre protein. This is a, a, a have a challenge for the regenerated medicine. So our lab is a, not believe that's true. So the uh, uh, way development of the culture system to, can make the M monkey embryo stem cells can keep pronounced potent that we made the camera for monkeys. So that means it's a primate embryo stem cells uh, have the uh, pronounced potent. So that's uh, very important. So today we, I do not uh, talk uh, this uh, research work in my, my lab, I just talk something about the Parkinson's disease. So that background is uh, Parkinson's disease background. I do not, uh, you already know, I didn't uh, say more, but I just say something about the uh, clinical treatment so far. Why is the use of deep brain stimulation? Uh, this, uh, uh, this may source only effective in some peoples. In Parkinson's disease, I have a different type. Some type can use this uh, uh, deep brain stimu uh, stimulation. And another the design of advantage is uh, uh, use this methods greatly loose and uh, the, its effect effectively after a long time. Have no significant effect on the post project the disturbance and the non motor and the non motor symptom. Another method is uh, mm. uh, uh, oral admi uh, administration of a dopamine uh, procure, this is called uh, dopa. Uh, but this, this, uh, this drug is not so effective. So far, is uh, they have very less uh, success successful to treatment the patients. 
Another way is uh, all, always uh, uh, start for 30 years ago. It means the differentiation, the pluripotent stem cells into the dopamine neurons for the PD treatment. So that is the idea. But however, after 30 years, uh, uh, this method is uh, still not work well. Is uh, is, is uh, this dopamine stem cells uh, injected to the patients that have a low, very low survival? Very few dopamine neurons can find in the uh, patients. And the transplanted uh, cells are difficult to mature in, in the bodies. In the interact and the established functional connection with the host neurons. You cannot find this. And the non time to function and need at least six months established the connection host neurons. There's a slight function recovery. So that's my source still not so work. So we that's my thought did the, the big challenges. So in our lab we think another method. This method is the depend on the doban. Doban is a, you know, is a, uh, is a uh, made by the three genes. And one is the GCH and the DH and the ADC. And uh, can make a tyrosine to finally became to the dopamine, then the secret to synthetic cleft, so they can make uh, the, uh, the function. And uh, so in our lab, we use the uh, uh, umbilical code, and uh, we separate the uh, MSC and uh, to make uh, then use SMC, use uh, non-weighty virus to uh, carry the three genes to the MSC. And to, so they, we can make uh, something like a, a DOBA MSC. Uh, use SMC inject the uh, uh, rice and the monkeys. So we got very, very good uh, uh, results. Firstly, uh, we, we have to test uh, the MSC is a stable uh, synthesis and the secretion in neurotransmitters. There's a picture in the tables to show you that we can got a very stable the DOPA MSC uh, expression. And also we test uh, this uh, uh, safety first in the rats, and uh, then we inject the monkeys for three years. And uh, here has, uh, I hope it work. Yeah, it has work. This, uh, this, this monkey, we use MTPT to inject into the brain to make the monkeys have the, uh, the, the Parkinson's phenotypes. You can find that the, the movement is very slowly. Then we inject our MSC. You can find the monkeys very quickly. After about 10 or 14 days, the monkeys can be activities. And also, we, we, we test uh, the, the, the fine, the hand movement for PD. You know, the PD is uh, the, the, the hand difficult to test, to, to pick up the, 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 the food. That's why we got the peanut in, in this, uh, the plate. So that, that is difficult. Uh, uh, after we treatment with this MSC, uh, the monkeys uh, can uh, quickly to, uh, 
because Africa got a fine hand movement in these monkeys. Also, we test the cognized uh, uh, function in these monkeys. Now, the cognitive is also is important. In common, not more uh, important PD uh, patients is also important indicated identify the PD conditions. Uh, before uh, this monkeys, they cannot, we use the five parks. The red parks have the food. Before they cannot, uh, difficult to find the, this uh, red parks to find the food. So you can see here. We train it many times, they cannot find this. But after this, they can exactly got this food in the red box. And also, um, we uh, use spectre to find that the, the brain has uh, uh, expression a lot of doba. Uh, uh, so it looks like uh, uh, that's an effective method to treat uh, Parkinson's disease. So we. Uh, this uh, animal models we already already uh, keep for six years and uh, still keep uh, stable the results here. We also have another uh, uh, studies to make. So, in summary, the genetically uh, engineered MSG with stable secretion of the dopamine could be safely and efficiently used to treat. Uh, Parkinson's disease with no suppressant uh, treatment. The safety and the efficiency were dom demonstrated over more than five years in Parkinson's monkeys. The transpiration uh, strategy uh, produced a stable resource with a low cost and uh, maybe achieve ideal therapy, uh, therapy uh, benefits for most PD patients. Uh, and also, this method uh, is a uh, therapy very uh, quickly. Uh, can be within two weeks, they can be effective. Uh, this is uh, also by the Tianjin Li's group did this work. And our work, we talk a little better about the uh, dodging muscular uh, dystrophy, uh, DMD in monkey models. Uh, uh, the, 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 this disease is uh, uh, actually is a, a gene, the DMD, uh, the exon, uh, different exon error. Uh, some patients in the exon five, but the most the patients is the uh, uh, exon five T uh, that got uh, the uh, mutation. So they got this disease. So we use the uh, uh, CRISPR cross dye techniques. We, we uh, knock out the uh, exome uh, 50 and then we made this uh, monkey's model. You can find uh, uh, their muscle. Uh, uh, this is a wire tap. This is uh, the model. You can find uh, their muscle. The, uh, structure is a uh, half damaged already. Is also compared here, and uh, we so we use uh, single cell RNA sequencing for the skeleton muscle for wild type and the DMT monkeys. In interestingly, we we found the uh, three uh, groups. Is a uh, have uh, different uh, uh, mutations. One is the fibro uh, antiprogenic progenitors that have uh, uh, abnormal, and also immune cells landscape they find the abnormal and the muscle stem cells and the abnormal compared to wet type. So the uh, most. Uh, the chairman in the report before is the uh, use uh, uh, IV, IVV, the uh, virus to carry 
the uh, genes to treatment the the, the DMD the pay, pay models, but uh, in all study, we we uh, this is the results about the uh, uh, DMD monkeys. So we found that the immune the uh, cells abnormal, maybe is can uh, try this way to treat the uh, immune cells, maybe can recover these patients. So we use this as uh, a monkey models. We just uh, depleting the B cells, use anti CD20 antibodies, uh, elevate the muscular uh, DMD uh, uh, models. So the DMD, uh, this is the DMD uh, monkeys received weekly uh, intravenous uh, administration and anti CD20 antibodies for four for weeks. Over 90% of the B cells were effectively eliminated within the one week and uh, began to recover 10 weeks post the injection. The, in the fourth weeks, the anti uh, CD20 groups show the significant serum uh, creating uh, kinesis uh, reduction. And uh, the muscle of the biopsy analysis is a re reviewed, improve, improved the history, uh, history here in picture D. And uh, also, uh, decrease the central the, uh, nuclear fiber ratio and reduce fibro diameter variation in anti-CD20 uh, uh, groups, the picture Z and the F, the in indicating the uh, high C the muscular fibers. The FG is a, we use MRI, the imaging, you can find that the the uh, skeleton, the muscles have a lot of improve, improvement. So this, uh, I think, is a uh, very e effective way for uh, uh, this work. In the summary, we we can say down autoreactive uh, uh, IgG is a big bind, is a binding to the uh, Sarcolamine in DMT. The FCR1, the mediator in instrument, AGG, uh, accumulation in antibodies, uh, exacerbate the DMT uh, pathogenesis, eliminating antibodies shift the pro inflammatory to prohibiting the environment in DMT muscle and uh, temporarily. Uh, Delection uh, B cells inhibits uh, IgG uh, communication and uh, uh, elevated muscle uh, uh, dystrophy in, in mural and uh, non human premise model. That's in, in cell re revision. So finally, I just talk some about the uh, organ generation. Uh, I think uh, for you wanted to go down life, just like uh, the, uh, the the car, all, all parts uh, is uh, damaged. Uh, we have to change the organs. Uh, some organs, if uh, too old, if we can use a new organ to change it, you can uh, you can go to uh, life. So to produce the. Uh, uh, Generated organs have uh, three ways. One is called uh, signal transplantation, such as use the peak organs to uh, transfer uh, transplantation to the human beings. But they have a decided uh, 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 advance, such as uh, immunological rejection, and also the Organoids use stem cells to make the, this the uh, organs, but uh, so far the techniques uh, cannot be, be done. Another is a hetero, uh, uh, heterospecific chemism, uh, chemism uh, 
And this is, uh, so far, still has some, some pro uh, technical problems. Today, I just talk of this part. You know, so this idea is not uh, so, so new. In years 2017, uh, already published a paper use uh, human cells to inject to mouse embryos and they use monkey cells to inject to pigs. But they got a very low the camera's rate is about a point uh, 001 to point 0001. So it's a very low efficient. Is this a low efficient? You can notice this used as a camera to make some organs. So in years 2021, published the paper, the paper said that uh, because the different species, the uh, uh, camera, the embryo, uh, the cells in this uh, uh, host have com competitions between cells. And the human cells, they uh, compete on uh, equal footing with the host cells. And also, the use uh, the, the human cells uh, to the another species that have the benefit can be used to explore the process of lineage differentiation of a cell with different uh, human pronuperatin stays through the same camera answer some mechanism for the pronuperatin uh, transitions during early embryonic development. So we use our the monkey the culture system. We we inject the human expanding stem cells to the uh, monkey uh, one cell zygotes, one cell embryos, the zygotes that we call the we call the, the human embryo chemical processes is uh, they can develop and until to 20 days. So, <clears throat> let's say, firstly, we have to test this uh, human cells in the monkey embryos can de develop and de stably. Uh, we test, uh, uh, you can see, uh, before the 16, uh, 15 days, they have high the uh, Cameras, but after this, the the the, the, the come down about the four percent uh, uh, cameras. But the compared to, to human with mouse and the human with pigs, is still high. But now we improve our culture system, can go the higher uh, cameras for human and the monkeys. This is uh, you can find uh, the embryonic uh, uh, desk is. Uh, Development in the human uh, cells, development in the uh, monkeys, uh, embryos, and also chemic the cells uh, retain human um, uh, yet EPS cells uh, characters. So we can find the four major cells uh, cluster were present in both chemic and uh, control embryos, such as uh, EPI, HIP, and the trophoblast and so on. And also phenotype trees shows the chemic human uh, HIP and uh, trophoblastic-like cells cluster with uh, epiblastic-like cells suggest the chemic, chemic the human cells and uh, partially uh, is a keep in the uh, EPS cells characters. And also we find that the similar correlation uh, uh, can efficiency were obtained in chimeric human cells uh, compared with uh, human and the monkeys. This means the monkey and the human beings cells uh, during the development become similar to each other. And also, chimeric uh, and the monkey cells became, became 
uh, similar each other used as a two analysis here. And also the development of the uh, epi-like cells in chemical human was slowly in uh, natural human development. So there's a suit, the uh, suit time the uh, element between control and the chemical cells shows chemical human epiplastic-like cells the differentiation uh, more slowly than the epiplastic cells from host monkeys, uh, control monkeys and the human embryos. The, the low uh, maps also uh, found the P PSEK, AKT, and the uh, MPK genes uh, mostly in, involved in this regulation. In summary, we say that the human EPS cells form the human monkey cameras at a higher rate than another species. And the human EPS in camera becomes similar to that of recipients, monkey cells. And the monkey cells also become similar to human cells, such as the cell interaction between human and the monkey cells. The development of human cells was slowly than that of normal aberrants and the re reception the monkey embryos. MPK and the PSVK, AKT, and the other signal pathways are involved in this, this regulations. This work is a way uh, Dr. Tao Tang group with uh, uh, Dr. Jing Wu and uh, the Professor Berman in that time with the Salt Institute in uh, San Diego. So uh, this work is also is a selective bilateral uh, nature study in the years 2021. Best uh, the scientific uh, pictures and also some uh, medium is uh, report this work. So what's, why this work is very important? I think is uh, this this paper the comments summary the nature methods in years 2022. So uh, that's uh, I think is uh, why this uh, significant uh, this work. Uh, this, this paper said, despite the ethic of the controversies, it is reasonable to generate early human monkey cameras in vitro. It is a vehicle to the study comparative evolutionary biology, human physiology, human development, and the disease modeling, and serves as a vehicle for the development, pharma, uh, quality, and the cell, uh, cell purists. It may provide a powerful research tool for the study of human development uh, tumors. And the human monkeys carry embryonic research which avoid the barrier of no uh, chemism rates uh, in the distantly related species has a um, profound uh, implication for guide the e effect uh, efforts to the generate human organs in evolutionary more distinct, uh, distant uh, the host such as the pigs, because the pig, the organ size is similar to human beings. The monkey is uh, organ size is smaller than the human size. So if you want to use the uh, different species organ to transfer to the humans, uh, the best choice for pigs. Uh, so if it's successful, uh, this may source, maybe it uh, uh, revolutionary to the field, comparative development biology and uh, regenerative medicine. So this work is, uh, can be continued to do in the further. And another work I, I just want to uh, introduce something uh, 
like the embryo, like a sunboid. And uh, firstly, we, we do this. We want uh, also the dissecting, the peri-implantation, the development uh, about the humans. That uh, is uh, from uh, implantation to 14 days. So we first, uh, we use single cell transcriptional uh, profile uh, for uh, these embryos. We focus on the uh, embryo uh, epiplast and uh, uh, extraembryonic endotherm and the extraembryonic uh, uh, mesotherm and the amino and the primatic streaks. Importantly, we found that PMP and the wind and the node synchronous pathway is very important by post implantation in human embryos. So we can we we use uh, uh, this idea we develop in the, the culture medium. This culture medium we call the ICN the medium. This medium is uh, uh, firstly, we, we use this uh, N2P25. This uh, is a HANA uh, group in Israel that developed this uh, medium for, for human stem cell culture. So, but we uh, some uh, improve, improvement, we add some acting A and I, uh, I WP2 and so on. In th this time, we also add another uh, 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 small molecules in this medium, so we can we can use this medium. We can develop naive human yes uh, cells and uh, uh, to generate synchrony nest cells. Use this. Uh, uh, Nest uh, cells, we can make some embryo SM uh, ploid, we call ESM void. So you can count, uh, you can, from here, you can count. You can see that if we just use a human trough of uh, plastic, the stem is, is no dropped, you can see here. And uh, you use the naive. Uh, Embryo stem cells uh, derived for truffle in uh, truffle ectoderm like cells is also dropped. But they use synchronous nest cells, you can full, got a full dropped uh, uh, embryos. But this embryos, no extra embryonic. Endotherm. So this is not uh, fully like the embryos yet. So we, we think uh, this is why. So we find that the uh, extra embryonic uh, uh, mes mesoderms is uh, depend on the very important uh, PMP, signal pathway, and the winter. So we use the winter plus PMP, and already the, some people already demand that you can go to extra embryonic medicine. So we use uh, we use signal uh, nest uh, synchrony nest uh, stem cells. We put uh, the winter and the PMP uh, signal. We we can go to the. Uh, extra embryonic medicine that you can find is a very nice uh, uh, optimized culture condition for uh, e assembly uh, ploid embryos. So we got this seminar uh, just like the in vitro fertilization embryos uh, we can organize the human uh, embryos here. You, you know, the, the, the single on a uh, transcription, the analysis, the similar to the 
in virtue of fertilizer uh, emperors. But so far, we do not know that embryos uh, have the biological functions like the natural embryos yet. So we still need to improve this culture system can really go to the, uh, the uh, uh, artificial embryos. If we go to these artificial embryos, in the future we can go to some organ seeds from these embryos to make some different uh, organs. So this work is uh, published in uh, last year. So uh, that's my, uh, this work is uh, also uh, did by Professor Lee's group. This is uh, his student. <laughs> uh, now he, we have second generation uh, 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 researchers to continue our uh, group work. So that's my last slides. Uh, this is uh, our institute in the Kunming. We welcome uh, join our collaboration with us in the future. Thank you. Wow. Yes, and for the last of the beautiful work. I know it's a lot of information. And for the sake of time, I only have two short questions. Uh, thank you for sharing uh, so many significant work. And my question is the embryo cannot survive after 25 days. So uh, near the date of stopping, are they, uh, how, ma how much are they able to uh, mimic the development uh, in vivo? Uh, so what's the uh, difficulty to culture the embryo longer? Is I there any clearly. possible solution? Okay. Pay that. Okay. For the for the uh, in virtual the embryos, uh, you you for primates uh, for monkey and uh, uh, human beings. So far, we didn't 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 find that the, uh, this uh, for the single cells on uh, analysis is uh, similar. But uh, the different is uh, in virtual. The development, development of the time is uh, slow compared with uh, in vivo. That is, uh, we found the difference so far. Last question? Okay. If not, uh, I will go upstairs. We have the reception. If you have one, you know, want to talk to the property and uh, you can ask more questions there. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.